egg white omelet mistake. I want to take you to a hotel breakfast buffet. You see a runner. He looks fit. He is training for a marathon. He walks up to the egg station and says, can I have an omelet? But please, like egg whites only. No yolks. I have to watch my cholesterol. Then he walks over to the toast station, puts two slices of white bread in the toaster, covers them with sugary jam, and pours a glass of orange juice. This image drives me crazy. This athlete is throwing away the medicine, the yolk, and eating the poison, the sugar. He is operating on science from 1980. Science that has been debunked for over 15 years. He believes that eating cholesterol raises his risk of heart disease. He believes the yolk will clog his arteries like grease in a kitchen sink. He is wrong. In fact, for a runner, restricting cholesterol might be the reason you are injured, the reason your testosterone is low, and the reason you aren't recovering. Today, we are going to debunk the biggest lie in nutrition history. We are going to explain why cholesterol is actually the raw material for your speed, and why the real enemy of your heart isn't the egg. It's the toast. The anatomy. Cholesterol is not grease, it's construction material. To understand why you shouldn't fear the egg, you have to understand what cholesterol actually is. It is not a fat that just floats around trying to kill you. It is a sterol, a waxy substance that is essential for life. If you removed all cholesterol from your body right now, you would turn into a puddle on the floor. Why? Because every single cell membrane in your body is made of cholesterol. It provides the structure. It keeps the cell holding its shape. But for runners, it is even more critical. Cholesterol is the mother molecule. It is the raw material from which your body manufactures. 1. Testosterone for muscle repair and drive. 2. Estrogen for bone density. 3. Cortisol for inflammation control. 4. Vitamin D for immunity and calcium absorption. Here is the kicker. Your liver produces about 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. That is equivalent to roughly 14 eggs. Your body needs it so badly that it makes it itself. When you eat two or three eggs, about 500 milligrams, your liver simply down-regulates its own production. It balances the books. Eating cholesterol does not directly spike your blood cholesterol. That is a myth. The firefighter analogy, blaming the wrong guy. But coach at you ask, if cholesterol is good, why do doctors find it clogging the arteries of heart attack victims? This is the logic error that confused the world for 40 years. Imagine a house is on fire. The fire department arrives. The firefighters are running around the house, spraying water, breaking doors. If aliens looked down from space, they would see a pattern. Every time there is a damaged house, these guys in red trucks are there. Therefore, the guys in the red trucks must be causing the damage. Cholesterol is the firefighter. Inflammation is the fire. When you have chronic inflammation from stress, sugar, smoking, or overtraining, your arteries get damaged. They get tiny cracks inside the wall, the endothelium. Your body screams for help. The liver sends cholesterol, LDL, to the scene to patch the crack. It acts like spackle or plaster. It is trying to save you. It is trying to seal the wound so the artery doesn't burst. If you blame the cholesterol for the plaque, you are blaming the bandage for the wound. The problem isn't that you have firefighters, cholesterol. The problem is that you keep setting your house on fire, inflammation. The real villain, oxidized LDL, the spiky ball. Now, let's get a bit deeper into the science. You have heard of good cholesterol, HDL, and bad cholesterol, LDL. This is simplistic garbage. LDL is not bad. LDL is the delivery truck carrying nutrients to your muscles. The problem happens when LDL gets oxidized. Imagine a tennis ball. Normal LDL, a smooth, fluffy tennis ball. It bounces off the artery walls, it flows, it is harmless. Oxidized LDL. Imagine you roll that tennis ball in glue and then in broken glass. It becomes sticky, spiky, and dangerous. When LDL meets high blood sugar or high oxidative stress, it rusts, it oxidizes. 
This spiky ball gets stuck in the artery wall. Your immune system attacks it. This creates a foam cell, and that creates the plaque. What causes the oxidation? One, sugar, high insulin spikes. Two, industrial seed oils, soybean oil, canola oil, corn oil. Why? Because these are polyunsaturated fats, PUFAs. They are biologically unstable. When you put them in a hot body, 37 degrees Celsius, they react with oxygen and degrade. They literally cook your cells from the inside. Three, chronic stress. It is not the egg yolk. The egg yolk contains the cholesterol. The toast and the seed oils contain the poison that turns the cholesterol into a weapon. Why runners need more cholesterol, not less. If you are a sedentary person sitting on the couch, maybe you don't need four eggs a day, but you are a runner. You are a high performance machine. Your needs are different. Every time you run a long run or a tempo, you create massive micro damage in your muscle cell membranes. You need cholesterol to patch those membranes. Every time you run, you spike cortisol. You need cholesterol to synthesize that cortisol. Every time you recover, you need testosterone. You need cholesterol to build that testosterone. If you go on a low fat, low cholesterol diet while training for a marathon, you are starving your hormonal system. This is why many health conscious runners suffer from low libido, fatigue, and depression. They have removed the raw material of life. Your body is begging for the yolk. The interactive test, the ratio that matters. So how do you know if you are safe? Most doctors look at total cholesterol. If it is over 200, they panic. But total cholesterol is a meaningless number for an athlete. It tells us nothing about the fire. I want you to look at your last blood test. Do not look at the total. I want you to look at the triglyceride to HDL ratio. Here is the shortcut, the rule of thumb. Ideally, your triglycerides should be lower than your HDL. If they are lower, you are bulletproof. Eat all the eggs you want. Acceptable. Your triglycerides can be up to double your HDL. You are safe. Danger zone. If your triglycerides are three times higher than your HDL, you are in trouble. Example, if triglycerides are 150 and HDL is 40, the ratio is almost four, that is bad. But here is the secret. Triglycerides do not come from fat. They come from excess carbohydrates and sugar. If your ratio is bad, stop eating the toast. Keep eating the eggs. Medical disclaimer. About 15 to 20% of the population are hyper-responders, often carriers of the APOE4 gene. For these people, dietary cholesterol does spike blood cholesterol significantly. If you change your diet and your numbers skyrocket after three months, check your genetics. Biology is individual. The protocol, how to eat eggs like a pro. So how do we integrate this into your diet? I have a specific protocol for runners called the anti-inflammatory stack. Rule one, eat the whole egg. The white is just protein. The yolk contains the choline, the vitamin K2, and the vision protecting antioxidants. And for those worrying about calories, the yolk releases hormones, CCK, that tell your brain, I am full. Egg whites leave you hungry. Whole eggs kill cravings. Rule two, don't eat naked fats. We want to prevent oxidation. When you eat eggs, cholesterol, pair them with antioxidants. Add spinach. Add avocado. Vitamin E protects LDL. Eat some berries on the side. The antioxidants act as a shield, preventing the cholesterol from turning into the spiky ball. Rule three, timing the meal, not the snack. The best time for a high cholesterol meal is one to two hours after training. Why wait? Because immediately after running, you need quick carbs to refill glycogen. Fat slows down digestion, so have your shake or fruit first. Then, for your main meal, have the omelet. That is when the slow-release repair materials go to work on your hormones. Beyond the egg. We have talked about the mechanics of nutrition today, but human performance goes much deeper. If you want to support this channel and explore the deeper science that we cannot cover in these short videos, check out the exclusive membership channel. The link to join is in the description.
Respect the building block. I want you to change your relationship with food. Stop looking at food as calories or enemies. Look at food as information. When you eat a donut cooked in seed oil, you send the signal. Inflame. Store fat. Oxidize. When you eat an egg with avocado, you send the signal. Repair. Build hormones. Strengthen. You are a runner. You break your body down every day. You need the best building materials on earth to build it back up. The egg is nature's multivitamin. Do not fear it, respect it. Check your ratios, cut the sugar, and eat the yolk. Building materials need a blueprint. So we have established that you need the best building materials to repair your body. But building materials are useless without a blueprint. You can eat all the eggs in the world, but if your training structure is broken, you will still be slow. If you want to stop guessing and start building a high-performance engine, you have three specific paths. The mathematical shortcut. Path number one, the blueprint. If you have a specific time goal, whether it is a sub four marathon or a sub two half marathon, I have written a specific master plan ebook for you. These are not just calendars, they are mathematical blueprints. They tell you exactly when to run, how fast to run, and how to taper. Find the plan that matches your goal in the pinned comment and download it today. The Science Circle Path number two, the Inner Circle If you want to understand the deeper science behind every workout, and if you want daily tips on nutrition and recovery that go beyond these videos, join the channel membership. It is a community of serious runners who treat the sport as a science. Click the Join button to get priority answers to your questions. The Full Audit Path number three, the mechanic. And if your engine is completely broken, if you are injured, plateaued, or confused by your blood work, you need a personal audit. Send me a message for personal coaching. I will look at your blood markers, your training history, and your nutrition, and we will build a custom strategy from scratch. Respect the biology. Stop feeding your body junk information. Eat the yolk, trust the science. Fix the training, check the links below. Your running journey powered by science.